These are a great many functions, more than you'll find in any agency. The reason is that ANSP is a full-fledged member of the General Electric marketing team. Our product department customers expect us to be more than an agency. They expect of ANSP a loyalty, an objectivity, and a knowledge of the company and its markets that they wouldn't look for in an advertising agency. They expect a unique depth of experience, talent, and company perspective applied to the development of well-rounded communication programs. To help us provide the services our product department customers expect, we have fully staffed account operations in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, in Western Springs, Illinois, and in San Jose, California, as well as in Schenectady. In addition, News Bureau people and a news teletype service operate out of New York City, Washington, Cincinnati, and Los Angeles. We try to live up to expectations and work in ways our product department customers like to work. For instance, product department people working with ANSP find themselves in direct contact with the men who actually do the work. The man doing the job is made personally responsible for all phases of the job. And all supporting functions such as media planning and measurement work to help him carry out his responsibility. This kind of personalized service applies to all phases of any program because this is the way our customers believe we can contribute best. Naturally, we are able to contribute most in those business areas in which we have worked the longest. But since our charter was broadened several years ago, we have added considerably to the range of company components we serve. And our experience is broader than you might think. For instance, we have been of some help to Charles Rigby, manager product planning of the commercial equipment department. The ANSP department did help us substantially in introducing our new flush-to-the-wall water cooler. All our competition was already on the market with wall-mounted units, and they were promoting many of the same features and benefits that we were offering. We were coming into the market late, but our objective was to attain first place in industry sales by 1962. To do this, we had to create a widespread interest among specifiers, users, and distributors and we had to fill the sales channels with promotional tools and strengthen our distributor sales outlets. The ANSP department, through their Western Springs branch, came up with a detailed plan, selection of communications tools, and then carried through with the creation and production of all campaign elements. This complete package service was perhaps their greatest contribution. The theme, the new space-saving shape and water coolers tied all of the elements of the program together. It gave our cooler a distinctive identity. It included strong customer benefits. Most of all, it created an immediate and favorable response. Zone managers saw actual models and were introduced to the benefits and advantages by a slide presentation. We used a promotional kit and a distributor training piece to pass the word along to distributors. Envelope stuffers, floor templates, local ad mats, a suites catalog insert, and a product bulletin were included in the kit. Architects received an advance mailing even before publicity went out to interested publications, and a total of three mailers. Announcement ads to architects appeared in the Architectural Forum and Architectural and Engineering News. These were followed in 1961 by contractor announcement ads in domestic engineering, mats for local user ads, a Thomas Register ad, and another follow-up to distributors in the department house organ. The complete and well-integrated program included even a very effective change in carton design. This announcement program has been successful in every respect and by nearly any standard of measurement. Response from zone managers and distributors was immediate and enthusiastic. And according to our distributor salesman, the broad user audience showed great interest in this radical new design. Architects not only expressed enthusiasm, but proved it by specifying our units in their new designs. Also, the campaign itself 
won an Association of Industrial Advertisers bestseller award. The most solid proof of the success of this program is that after the new unit was introduced, sales which had been running below budget earlier in the year soon ran 20% over budget. How much of this success was due specifically to the announcement program itself is hard to say, but there is no question in our minds that the ANSP department did help and help substantially in a business area that was relatively new to them. The water cooler program is representative of what you might expect from ANSP in an advertising campaign. We have invited Dr. Lyman Fink, General Manager of the Atomic Products Division, to tell you about another kind of contribution. Recently, the uh, Advertising and Sales Promotion Department helped the Atomic Products Division in a way which I think other company components should know about. It's another example of how pooled activities can save us money. Some time back, it became apparent that the growth of the atomic power business would depend not only on our technological progress, but also on the understanding and acceptance of that progress by our public. The A and S P department, because they knew us and knew our business, were well qualified to help us. Their experience with broad communication programs, such as More Power to America, and live better electrically made their services invaluable in the strategy and planning and implementation of a program which we called Citizen Atom. The purpose of the Citizen Atom program was twofold. First, to determine the attitude of the American public toward atomic energy development. Second, to marshal and expand the existing company atomic communications activities under a single banner with the objective of achieving better public understanding through the presentation of factual information. The success of the program to date is due primarily to the ability of ANSP to assemble and coordinate the many expert talents needed in this undertaking. The 1960 effort centered around two main elements, an international publicity program highlighted by a 16-page color insert in the Sunday edition of the New York Times and an action program based on a nationwide survey of public attitudes and related information. In 1961, the key elements were the preparation of a basic workbook that explains to others how to set up their own Citizen Atom programs and includes the listing of all available materials, a Citizen Atom display, and the film strip based on the Times Sunday supplement. Results to date are encouraging. We are receiving much favorable interest in the part of key customer groups, trade associations, competitors, and primary influence groups. Citizen Atom publicity has reached gratifying proportions in all communications media. The Citizen Atom exhibit is booked solid across the country. We have sold about 150 Meet Citizen Atom slide film kits. We have distributed or sold more than two million copies of the New York Times supplement and the Citizen Atom symbol is being used by an increasing number of organizations outside General Electric. The next step is for Citizen Atom to be taken over by the atomic industry. We are working to make that happen this year. We are confident that the general public and its influence groups will accept the expanding role of atomic energy in our society. And we can be proud of the role played by Citizen Atom conceived by us and the ANSP department as a general electric effort in achieving this goal. Thank you, Dr. Fink. Citizen Atom is a result of a close working relationship between a company division and the ANSP department over a period of years. George Bogard, manager of residential market development of the major appliance division, is here to tell you of yet another kind of communication problem that ANSP is helping to solve. The Advertising and Sales Promotion Department at Schenectady have made many creative contributions to the Live Better Electrically program and to its successor organization, the Residential Market Development Section. When the LBE program was operated by the General Electric Company, ANSP Department coordinated an eight-page advertising section in Life Magazine which scored the highest Gallup-Robinson score ever recorded. Utilities purchase millions of reprints for their own use. ANSP services are being used by the residential market development section 
which represents some 70 product departments of General Electric. We represent them in sales to builders. And it represents products ranging all the way from switchgear to disposal. The effectiveness of this organization stems from the fact that they are familiar with many diverse businesses and marketing channels through which General Electric products reach the end customer, namely the Medallion Project Builder. We have been impressed by their creative advertising approach to various influence groups in the building industry, which includes mechanical and electrical contractors, money lenders, architects, builders, and realtors. The skill and experience of ANSP extends to such fields as the writing and producing of color movies, like Partnership and Progress, which was produced for RMDS and has been purchased by 200 utilities. The publication of a tabloid newspaper, which is circulated directly to large builders and potential customers, as well as to the principal architects, electrical jobbers, appliance distributors, and utility executives. We have found that the most valuable service provided, and certainly one of the greatest strengths of ANSP, is the News Bureau. They've delivered a volume of creative publicity which the builders tell us is effective in building traffic and accelerating sales of medallion homes and the rental of medallion apartments. Selling homes faster, renting apartments quicker, expands the sale of General Electric products. In the opinion of the residential market development section, such publicity is a more productive force than paid space advertising. I think it is also important to add that the News Bureau makes a contributed value in the form of improved customer relations as a direct result of their contacts with large builder developers. The News Bureau gives General Electric an edge over all competitors. Mr. Bogard can bet that we're doing our best to earn more of his business. Well, these three cases are by no means the only ANSP activities that should be of interest to you. Let me just mention a few others. We recently helped the LAMP Division promote the franchising of sanitary supply distributors as General Electric LAMP agents. The Voyager program helped build traffic aboard General Electric powered jet airliners. The Lexan product bulletin and technical report notebook greatly improved chemical materials miscellany of publications. The Give Better Electrically project illustrates a contribution in the small appliance field. Our handling of the company's utility executive conferences is only one example of our experience with blue chip meetings. Other recent activities include the classic car program for general purpose control the Hidden Values OEM direct mail campaign for the ballast department, dealer promotion materials for the radio receiver department and television receiver department, and in the planning stage, a traveling exhibit spectacular for agent and distributor sales. Through efforts like these, we are gaining experience in an ever-broadening range of company business areas. And General Electric departments in all areas are becoming aware that under our department's general manager, Raleigh Reed, this experience is helping us to serve all our customers better. That's right. The more we can help product department people all around the company, the more valuable we can be to General Electric and to each product department that we serve. This broad range of service off times helps us to bring to a communication problem a breadth of understanding and a company perspective that a decentralized component can make use of. It also tends, I believe, to support the idea that General Electric communications problems can best be solved by talented and dedicated General Electric people. Now thus far in this presentation, we've covered a lot of subjects and in a hurry. I hope we've also raised some questions in your mind that you will ask them, because frankly, the only reason we came here is to try to answer them. <laughs>